Welcome to Pine Tree State Restorations and one of my favorite areas I like to hang out in. One section of my radio room in my house and I want to talk about the MLA-30 Active Loop Antenna. I bought one on eBay. Uh, they're like 30 to $35 Chinese and I want to show you some tips and tricks on how to make this thing work right and even better uh, and more reliable so you don't have any issues. So let's start out with the unit right here. This plugs into a USB source. Okay. That plugs into a USB source. And then you got a cable that goes to your antenna, the loop, and then one going to your receiver and the USB. Now, what I found out was inside this box right here, this lid snaps off, you have an attenuator in there. An adjustable attenuator <clears throat> right here. Got to get yourself a really tiny screwdriver, like an eyeglass screwdriver or whatever. I have a whole set of them. But you can adjust that once this is all hooked up for better audio gain, okay? I found that on mine, I had to have it turned all the way to the right for it to be perfect, all right? And then this lid, it just snaps back on there. One thing you could do is you could put a couple of holes in that lid, mount it to the wall, and then snap that back on, you know, and then you'd have it in a safe place rather than just scooting around on the table, which is what I'm going to do. So it comes, <clears throat> it doesn't have a pigtail. It's got a pigtail for like a modern radio, like a, uh, like one of these Biofang radios or whatever. It's, I can't remember what connection they call this, SMA or whatever. I'm not sure. but So it's not going to fit on your radio. So you're going to need to get an adapter for that with two leads on it, or you're going to need to cut this, which is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to put a ground shield and a center conductor, and I'm going to put two terminals on the end of it so I can hook up to the radio. I'm thinking about making a uh, random wire antenna switch so I can have like five, an uh, one antenna coming in with five different inputs from five different radios so I can just switch it back and forth. All right, so there's that. That comes off, that can be adjusted. So if you get one and it's not working right, or you want to fine tune it, this is what you got to do right here. Now, let's jump over to the other side of my radio room, where I spend a lot of time. This is my 1920s area. As you can see, I got 1920s radios over here, all hooked up that I listen to. They're called farm sets. These are all 1920s radios. And my scanner is sitting there. I listen to that once in a while. Here's the antenna. Now, it's supposed to be a loop. I didn't make it a loop. This is called a mega loop, ML30. If you take this cover off right here, there's another trimmer pot inside there for more audio gain you can increase the gain now what i've done is is i put those on and then i took two tie straps and put them on right there so those wires won't move because the way it's set up is you put those uh wing nuts on and this thing comes loose so easy even with the lock nuts so if you put those little tie straps on there and then you tighten those wing nuts, they're not gonna come loose. And then on to my next thing, improvement. Okay, so what I did was, I made it a, more like a triangle, it's not a triangle, it is a, basically a cross. Okay, I put a notch, put a four way PVC three quarter, Several pieces of three-quarter PVC. I put a notch all the way around the three pieces with an end cap for the wired fit in there. Because I tell you why. 
the way this is, the way they want you to set it up is just put it on the pipe down here and put it on up there. I can see massive amounts of problems. The wind's going to blow. Those are going to come loose. And the wire is going to get bent. And you're really, you're going to have a total crap show in no time outside. It's just not going to work good. Building it cross style like this, and I just put it together and it comes apart. You can, it's still mobile. You can take this all apart, take the caps off, take the pieces off, and you could, you could take the wire off and you could take it mobile if you want. I'm putting it outside 50 feet in the air, so I'm going to glue it together. But here's the thing that shape has no effect on the AM loop whatsoever. I don't care what anybody says. Might have a little bit different cue, but. It's going to work the same. It's going to work exactly the same. It's going to work just as good as a circle. And it's going to be extremely more reliable. You won't have to play games with this. So, three-quarter inch <clears throat> PVC, a four-way. And what i done was I started at the top. Then I worked my way halfway down. Then I left the unit, the antenna connection, loose on the bottom so that I could pull that down and get everything tight. Otherwise, you got to do some critical measurements. You'll never get it right. So I just left that and I pulled that down to where it got tight and everything was square. Then I put my first screw in. They don't put screw holes in here. They put them off to the side wanting you to use a tie strap, which is garbage. It ain't never going to work. So I drilled in two holes, top and bottom, so I could screw it right to that plastic with the self-tapping sheet metal screw. I pre-drilled the box so it's bigger than the screw, and then I just drilled the hole in the plastic uh, smaller than the screw. That way it's got nice threads. Okay? It works pretty good. So that's what it is. The MLA-30 antenna. Uh, not going to work as good as you think out of the box. Um, if, you, if you do this, if you build the cross... Put it outside, it's going to be bulletproof. You put it together, no wind's going to bother it. It's not going to get bent. These are not going to come loose. They're tight, and they have the tie straps there in the corners. They're not going to, nothing's going to happen, okay? It's going to be a, be able to survive 60 mile an hour wind. Where, the, where it was before, I could see the wire coming loose, coming loose down at the base, and having nothing but trouble. So... Remember, inside here, there's a, this is all filled with uh, epoxy on the circuit board, so it's waterproof. But there is a pot in there to adjust the gain of the antenna for some more gain. Now, remember, if you put too much gain in the antenna, you'll get a lot of background noise. So you got to find a happy medium. I've already adjusted this one. Uh, and I've adjusted the amplified unit, which I showed you earlier. So it's all set up, ready to go. All I got to do is put her up in the air. But that's the MLA 30 plus magnetic loop antenna. Works pretty good. If you do the mods, works pretty good. Uh, plan on spending, you know, half a day farting around. And of course, the higher you can get it up in the air, the better. You can still use it in the house. If you wanted to, you could put a hook on the top PVC cap, glue it on. Put a hook on it, and you can hang it in your house. That would work good, too. But thank you for watching Pine Tree State Restorations. Please hit like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Also, pretty soon, we're coming up on the shortwave radio giveaway. I have 105 subscribers. I'm really, really proud of that. I'm really thankful for that. That radio coming up is going to be awesome. And uh, we get a few more people, 20, 30 more people. That radio is going to be up for grabs. We're going to have a YouTube raffle, and I'm going to give that radio away, and I'm going to ship it to whoever wins it, no matter where they are on the planet. So once again, thanks for watching Pine Tree State Restorations, and we'll see you soon.